Tonight, city officials say it just comes down to a lack of cash to clean it up. CBS 21's Kirk Clyatt has more from Reservoir Park tonight. Kirk? Well, Rob, I'm here just about the highest point in Harrisburg. Still a great view of the capital in the city, but it's hard almost to remember back when this was a, a beautiful park back in the late 90s when they're doing the restorations and the renovations, getting set for the opening of the uh, Civil War Museum back in 2001. Here we are 12 years later, and what do we got? We've got weeds that are the size of small trees. You look back to a now totally uh, non maintained, it's in disrepair fountain and statue that was put in place back in the 90s. You look up here higher on the hill, a monument that's been part of the city's history for over 100 years. There should be bright floodlights on it, but those lights totally smashed and destroyed. Here we're getting to a point where it's uh, not only just an eyesore, but it could be potentially dangerous as well. At nighttime, it's scary up here. At first glance, this is a beautiful place. Then you take a closer look. Carly Timpson was going to bring her wedding reception to the pavilion. When we actually came out to look at the place, um, it, it was very much in disrepair. There's missing floorboards and there's um, spray paint. and, and um, But it would have been beautiful because, I mean, it's nice open windows for a summer wedding. From broken glass to poison ivy to weeds that are as tall as you are, how did this fountain go from a point of civic pride to an embarrassment? Well, it all comes down to money. The longer this goes, uh, the more of the investment that we put in um, disappears. You know, the reality is, uh, you know, we could lose everything. Think if the community got together and everybody worked together, it would look a lot better. Reservoir Park, historically, it was a place of gathering you know, during the 1900s, during City Beautiful movement. Harrisburg hopes to repeat history with City Beautiful 2.0. A hundred years ago, Harrisburg was a national role model. Taking urban park, uh, urban centers and making green space for the community to participate. John is also the Harrisburg City Treasurer. The city does not have the, the financial resources, the capital resources to invest in what we have. Uh, so there's an initiative underway called City Beautiful 2.0, you know, as a play on what happened historically to be able to revive the conversation, to be able to raise resources so that way we can prevent blight. This is my home. My kids go here. My family is here. I need to care about this. And of course, the Tour de Belt, that's the bicycle tour throughout the region. Part of it does come here through Reservoir Park, just a couple of hundred yards from the blight that you see here. And even with the, the park in this bad a condition, this part of it, it still remains open to the public. But if you, like me, are very allergic to poison ivy, I wouldn't plan on coming for a visit until something is done. If you would like to do something, we've got a good way to get you started. Just go to CBS21.com and click on Find It Live in what was once a beautiful place in Harrisburg. I'm Kirk Clyatt, CBS 21 News. All right, Kirk, from the city